Hello there, Master Hellish here, and welcome back to our Open TTD Let's Play Series 3 now. Uh, I'm here, of course, again with Mad Mike and Mark Carlo. Hello, guys! Hello. Hello. <laughs> um, I'm making us some money. The trains I put in uh, going to Bengfing Way and Dronning Hall. Um, well, some of the trains are, w are making us some money, and some aren't yet, but they will do. It's kind of a future thing. Uh, I I think both Kedham and Benfing Way have a, an opportunity to give us money. Uh, Joining Hall certainly does. The size of it is one of the biggest on the map, I think. Let's have a look in the town's directory. Oh, Parfing Hill's actually the biggest town in the directory at the moment. Um, and there are a shed load of passengers there. I think a shuttle surface between Parfing Hill and Joining Hall... Uh, is in order. I think it will make us a nice bit of money. Sounds good. So I'm going to clone one of those other trains and just change its orders. There we go. Now I'm going to keep an eye on that train. Uh, I'm going to put it at the bottom there. There we go. Let's pin it in place. So at the minute it's going to Dronning Hall which is good because that's the direction it's facing. Should be a nice quick journey for this particular train. Let's just keep an eye on it and see how it flows through the network and see what's going on. And then we'll visit uh, the other two guys and see what they've been doing uh, recently. So this new train's only on the main line for two sections and then it comes off straight at the junction here. These junctions seem to be flowing alright lads. Have you noticed any problems with them? Oh yeah. As we get more and more stuff on the line, maybe, maybe we will in the future. And as you can see, it's coming up to these depots and it's going to force it into the depot for a service because there's no other way for it to go apart from through a depot. And because there's two depots opposite each other, a train can go into the other one as that one's coming out, which is quite handy. So we're off to Droning Hall to pick up passengers for the first time. In it is. It's loading now. Let's just see how many it's loading. And we've got a full complement, I think. Yep, fully loaded. So it's going to head back now. Train zipping up and down that main line, that's what I like to see. Uh, some people don't use a main line system in their games, um, even if they do have train sharing tracks. I like it, I just like the way it, it looks. Now there's a rubber plantation that's going to close. I don't know if that's it's anything... miles away, I've just checked it. Ah, thank you for checking that out. Got a little bit of a blockage here outside Dronning Hall. Lots of trains waiting to go, but it is flowing okay, I think. I think there's quite a few trains trying to get into Parfing Hill uh, around this bridge, and because of Dronning Hall, I had to do a very nasty bit of railway around the stuff there. Well, let's see. It's coming back into Parfing Hill. Hopefully that train will make us some cash. Yeah, that other train, train 10, is unblocked now. 9,000. That's not too bad. Not too bad for a little journey like that. I think we'll just have that one shuttling backwards and forwards now because that station no longer has anything sat at it because I think it's just stolen absolutely everything. Uh, Parfing Hill. What is our ratings at Parfing Hill? Outstanding. They think we're fantastic. Um, let's uh, get this station to spread a little bit now. Let's put one in there. Uh, one in here. One in there. Can we fit one in there? Now, for anybody not that doesn't know how I'm doing this, I'm pressing Control, and that w that gets us our spread station. Now, how far out along this? Oh, I can only go this far along the road, so we'll put that there. One there, one there, one there. I think we need one in the middle here, but I can't see. So, Control X to bring up the see-through map, transparency options. Sorry, and ah, there we go. Uh, one here. 
Fantastic. Well, there we go. Uh, that spread station's done at Parfing Hill. That's all looking pretty good. Now, me and the Glads were just saying that um, last time we worked on... We didn't do any massive amounts of building. I mean, I put Kedden Forest in, but uh, we've been working on optimising things, taking stuff out that's no longer needed, getting little extras stuck in there, and um, our operating profit, I think, is looking a lot better for it. Um, we were travelling around the... Uh, probably around the 150,000 mark, and now we've managed to bring that up to around the 250,000 mark, which is, which is good, very good indeed. Uh, and Mark Isle, have you been paying off the loan? Yes. Yes, he has. I noticed we didn't have much money, and you can see here we only have a loan of 850,000, which is after I built this massive loop is, is not too bad. <laughs> so, Mike, what are you up to? Uh, adding valuable trains in because they make quick cash. Ah, whereabouts are you doing that? You do. Oh, is that Holding Hall Central you did? Uh, yes, and there's one near... Oh, I forgot where it is now. Henbury Mines. Oh, yeah. One at the, I one see at the top at Grund Hall. Yeah. So and I'm just adding one in at Meddingham Mines, which is a lot of diamonds. Yeah, well, I'm looking at Hen Hendenbring now. There's a single train. There's 90 bags of diamonds a month. And this train can carry a total of 60. And it's probably going to go backwards and forwards probably twice within a month. So that is plenty. I think that one train is about right for that particular route. Uh, let's see, this mines over here is a very small amount, but then you've got a very small train going too, so that's good. Although it's a bigger line. Where's this other one that you said's big? Uh, I'm just adding it in now at Mending Ham Mines. Mending Ham. Oh, up here! Wow! Yeah. Uh, let's have a look. 135, right, cool. Where are you sending that to? Are you just bringing it back down for Dinningford, or...? Yes, it's the closest town with a bank. I think I think you ought to bring it into Dronninghall. Ah, uh, they'd lose the value. Let's have a look at the cargo payment rates. So if we disable all, and we're mainly working with passengers at the moment, uh, diamonds is what we were talking about. They do lose their value, but it's 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 only a bit of a drop off after. I mean, if you can get it within 20 days of transit, that's a lot better. I can understand that. And then the value does seem to drop off. But not as bad as what I thought it might be. Things like goods get to around 90 days and then drop off even worse. So if you're carrying goods around, you definitely want to do it within 90 days. Uh, fruit is only 40 days. Food is about 70 days. So there is a kind of a maximum recommended time in transit for these uh, things to be able to make them uh, both most profitable I can understand why you're doing that part uh, quite a short distance there 135 bags of diamonds I think two trains you, you, this is going to be the maximum you're going to do there isn't it yeah fair enough alright Mark Kyle what are you working on my friend uh, paying this loan off and checking out uh, possible expansion areas. All right, Tio. Um, I mean, I'm quite enjoying this this little Dronning Hall bit we've got going on here. But the section of track between Parfing Hill and Dronning Hall is getting very busy now, and I'm wondering whether we should look at reducing the number of trains we have and increasing the train lengths, possibly. Sounds like a good idea. Yeah, I'm also going to put an extra couple of relief lines in. Uh, there seems to be a lot of trains going directly between Dronning Hall and Parfing Hill, so I'm thinking, I'm thinking if I put an extra line in here as a relief line, or would that be a bad idea? Kind of. Oh no, I don't want to do that. Get out of the way, my train. A lot of our trains seem to be breaking down, and they appear to be the older ones. So what I would like to do there is I think I want to replace some of the older trains. 
This train over here is 10 years old and its reliability is only 27%. It is breaking down left, right and center. Breakdown since last service, 7. And it's even got a train depot in its service orders. That's how bad that train is. That's probably something that's actually causing a lot of problems. So I might I might work on that now. So I'm going to manage and replace vehicles. Let's see what we've got here. So this turbo diesel is quite reliable. Um, this old diesel here isn't. So let's get it replaced with the uh, CS2400. Uh, uh, we've got 17 of them. No wonder our network's getting a bit dodgy. We've got 17 vehicles going around our network with a reli maximum reliability of 38%. And all the other vehicles seem to be okay in terms of reliability at the moment, so we'll leave it like that. Uh, I think because of the uh, replacing vehicles, maybe we should max out our loan? What do you think, Mark Isle? Probably a good idea. It'll get more of them off. <laughs> changed over okay so there we are we're gonna i'm gonna borrow the maximum amount of loan even though we don't want to be using the loan all the time it's going to be better to get our network freed up with all these rubbish breaking down trains and also if a train's breaking down less it makes its journey quicker and it's going to get us more profit so operating profits looking okay at the moment i'm just checking out the cargo payment rates of uh of water and seeing when it drops off. Let's have a look. Water, water, water. Yeah, water drops off after 50 days in transit. Uh, up until 50 days, it keeps its value at £208 per unit, which is quite good. Um, but at the moment, we're bringing a lot of water into the Great Cheddon food plant, aren't we? Yes. Now, I'm wondering... Is it worth doing some direct stuff instead? You mean like it was before you told me to send it into Great Cheddar Food Plant? Well, no. I, I, well, maybe. I mean, I, I was thinking a lot of the stuff around there would come out quite nicely, but... I'm thinking maybe some of them could be dedicated. I'm not sure. Certainly the ones like... The Puffing Hill West one's coming round, and that one at Great Cheddam North that's completely on the wrong side of the network, that one makes sense to bring it in and round. I'm just checking now to see if any more have been built in the time that we've been playing. I'm not seeing any. I'm not seeing any at the... Oh, there's, there is a couple out on, the, out on the edges here. Let's see uh, how Mike's doing with his railway line here. So we've got loads of bags of diamonds waiting for collection. That's that's good. That train's all full. 60 bags per shift. You the other one has 80. Mm, you might need to have them both on 80 there uh, to keep yeah. up with the production. But uh, that's good. That's going to bring us in some nice money. I mean, it's uh, 6,000 for each journey on that uh one that holds 80, so that's that's quite good. Right, let's see what the approval ratings are like at Ben Fingway. They think we are appalling. Why do they think we're so appalling? Kedem also think we're appalling. That's that's no good at all. Uh, this middle section appears to be blocking up a little bit less at the moment. I'm not quite sure why that is. But I'm hoping it's due to improvement of trains not breaking down. I mean, I can see a couple that are still out there breaking down as we speak. Still got six to change over. Only six? That's not bad yeah. going. That's not bad going at all. Considering we did have 17 that we needed replacing. And now we're down to six. That That's good. It's getting a lot of old, broken, rubbish trains off the network. Now, does Benfingway accept water? Yes, it does. Uh, 
Now, have we got any spare food to take to Benfing Way? No, I don't believe we do. Well, there's about 90 tons of food sat there at the moment. Uh, Mike, there's another rubber plantation if you want to send it to the factory. Where's that? It's on the west coast here. Um, not far from our oil refinery, actually. Ah, uh, that one. Yeah. Uh, it's not a lot of rubber. Is it? Uh, oh, I oh, know. It's only 18,000 litres of rubber. It's probably hardly worth the effort until it closes which, down. Think, yeah, which is why I think we left it alone in the first place. Yeah. I'm just checking out a few various places that are nearby. There's a farm there. Not a lot there. There's more rubber. There's a fruit plantation. That's that's not bad. We could probably get that connected up okay. That's rubber as well. More water. Okay, uh, I think I'm going to add a line in at Benfing Way so that we can get some water coming into it. Um, I'm just trying to figure out the best way of doing it without messing the station up too much. If I put that there, um, now Benfing Way are going to get annoyed. I take that land out there so I'm going to put a tunnel in now by default trains will use platform number one first just like it has done here because of the way that the track is um, and then it will use platform two three so if I get this one to come straight in at platform number four Let's remove that there, like this, and I should be able to just change this signal. If I remove that, then I can put that signal in there like that. I and, and that, I think. I have no idea if that's going to work. Actually, to be completely honest. Uh, <laughs> And then in the middle of the route, I'm going to add a depot and take out the piece of line in between. So uh, every time it goes backwards and forwards, it'll make a trip to the depot. Right. Diesel, diesel. Let's get that diesel train in there. And let's get uh, a water truck. Water truck, water truck. The water tanker, there we go. I'm going to start off. Oh, we ran out of money, guys. Have we run out, run out of money? Or have we been paying the loan off? I only paid 50, I've just taken it out again. Yeah, I think replacing all those vehicles has caused, has caused us some issues in terms of financial flow. Still got three left. Three vehicles to change. Yeah. Okay, there we go. I'm going to keep an eye on this vehicle and try and work out what's best for it. Uh, Benfing Way West is going to be providing 18,000 litres of water. Now, that's a month. That's not a lot, which is why I've only got a train with 20... Oh, no, that can carry 50,000 litres. That's not good. That's going to take forever to fill up. Uh, okay, go back to the depot. Through your little tunnel there train going in and a train going out. There we go. Um, I'm going to take one of the tanks off. 
I'm actually going to just make it do a little shuttle out there on its own with just one little tank at the minute. That should fill up a lot quicker. Hopefully it will fill up at all and hopefully it will count. Hopefully these rails will work as well because I I don't normally get trains to go into the back of a station like this. Um, Bengfeng Wang Kedem train is making some money, not a massive amount. But as Bengfeng Wei gets bigger and so does Kedem and their ratings improve for our company and we're no longer appalling, we'll be able to do some spread stations. Oh, come on, you're only 68% full. Well, we might have to check him out next time, I guess. Where's this train come from? £250, is that all from Kedem? Oh, that's not good. That's not good at all. But the ratings are probably good, and that's the important thing at the moment. We need these ratings to get better. Okay, well, uh, we'll call it there for now, guys. Um, let's have a look at the operating profit, see how things are going. You can see here that without us spending stupidly amounts of money, our operating profit improve in there. Obviously, that's uh, due to, uh, in part, to Mark Kyle looking after our money. And also Mike getting some of these valuables uh, from these diamonds, sorry, from the diamond mines into the banks. I think he's got three or four. Yeah, there's one there, there's one down here, and then one over there as well. So we've got them running quite nicely. Got five now. Oh my word, where's the other ones? Uh, Laughing Hill. Oh, I just saw Grunding Hall. Grunt Grunt Hall, yeah. Yeah, Grunt Hall and Laughing Hill, yeah. And those trains should be making us a nice little bit of money. 2000 so far this year for that one. Cool. Yep, yeah, well, there we go. That's like I said, that's all from us for now. Uh, thank you very much for watching, and, and until we see you next time, it's goodbye. Goodbye, guys. Bye. Bye.